Hi friends, Kate Mosier here. Welcome to another edition of Slow Mo Mondays. Glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. And let's get started. We're going to be doing a standing practice today. I've got a block here with me. If you happen to have a block or a book or a low piece of furniture, uh, go ahead and grab it before we get started. So let's find our way into our mountain pose. I like to, today I guess, I like to have my feet about hip distance apart. Sometimes I go a little wider, sometimes I go a little shorter. So settle in here, closing your eyes if that feels good for you, opening across your chest, palms can face forward or towards your thighs, and just settle in for a moment. Taking a moment to just do a quick body scan, checking in with where you're at today. Perhaps setting an intention for your practice, for your day, for your week, whatever works for you. Just taking a moment to sort of like open the curtains and make space for yourself. Because it's really important to do that. I'm sure that you don't do enough of it because I think probably none of us really do. So I appreciate you showing up for yourself right now by turning on this video and also just for knowing that doing a quick few minute yoga flow can help get things going for you. So let's get started. Heel toe your feet out wide, finding a wide legged stance. Bring your right ear over to your right shoulder, pausing. If you'd like some more sensation, you can always add your hand on the side of the head, push through that left palm if that works for you. Let it all go, letting your head come back up. Bring in your left ear to your left shoulder this time. Same options available here, but you don't have to do the same thing. Different sides, different sensations. Let your head come back up to center. Tuck your chin, let your head drop for a minute. Make sure that your knees are not locked out, that they're still soft. Pausing, breathing, just going in, words. Letting my voice guide you, but letting you be your best teacher. Inning. Inhaling back up to center. Let your arms lift up to the sky. Slide those shoulders down the back. And just pause here. Inhaling and exhaling. Just noticing any sensations that are going on for you. Turn your palms out to the side as you exhale back down. Begin to draw some tiny circles with your nose. Closing your eyes, I find this makes me dizzy if my eyes are open. Switch directions. Come back to center. Awesome. From this wide-legged stance, bring your hands up to your hips. Making sure those knees are still soft. Leading with your chest, bending from the hips. As you lean forward, Coming all the way down. You can slide your hands down to rest on your knees, your shins, your feet, your thighs, the floor. And just let your head hang heavy. Breathe. I started doing these Slow Mo Monday videos partially for myself, just to come back to myself before the week begins. And I hope that they bring you some presence some peace and a feeling of connection. Really letting your head hang heavy, letting those shoulders drop. And just settling in. When you're ready, you can begin to bend into your knees, finding a stretch along that opposite inner thigh. Pausing if you like on one side, if it feels really good. Just go back and forth. Beautiful. Come back to center. 
pause here for another moment, another breath. And then slide your hands back up to your hips and slowly make your way back up. Pause, notice, feel. What are all these words Kate is saying? <laughs> I say them to myself, I say them to you, just to constantly be bringing ourselves back to the practice, back to ourselves and our bodies, because I don't know about you, but for me, I tend to live from the neck up. Most of my world exists up here. I don't um, do a lot of integration, or I hadn't before yoga became a really um, important pillar in my life. I wasn't taught uh, that our bodies are integrated. I was taught that I lived upstairs and didn't really do much about downstairs. It was broken, it was fat, it was all the things. So I say those words as a reminder to just come back. It's just a constant invitation, a constant welcome mat to come back. So let's continue. Inhale your arms up to the sky, letting your hands splay out, bringing your shoulders back and down, finding that softness in your knees. And then just find your way into this five-pointed star. A lot of times I will end my class or end my flow with this, but today I wanted to start with it. I think there's something psychological about this posture that can just help to make a shift. Might not be a big, huge one, but it just helps you feel connected. It helps me feel connected. I will not speak for you. So just relish in whatever is coming up for you. Hopefully it's good stuff. If it's not, know that those shadow parts of ourselves, those darker parts of ourselves, they're welcome too. They're part of us. None of us are bright and shiny all the time, or ever. Maybe that's not your dist disposition. Exhale your arms back down. Ooh, held that for a little minute. Feeling that. Mm -hmm. From this wide-legged stance, we're going to turn our right toes out so that they are facing towards the right side of our room. Our left toes are facing forward. We're going to keep that right leg long. Again, that knee is soft but strong, so it's not locked out, but it's uh, there's a bend in it, but maybe nobody else would notice but you. We're gonna bring our hands to our hips here for a moment. We're gonna move into Trikonasana, our triangle pose here. So there's a couple of ways, especially if you live in a larger body, to get into this pose to make it a little bit more comfortable. Because for a long time I would do this pose and I would just like, couldn't find my breath and felt all squished and yucky and there wasn't a lot of move meant there wasn't a lot of flow. And when I started um, doing these tweaks, it just really helped to just make space for my body. So hope that's helpful for you. With your hands on your hips, you find that openness across your chest. Your knee is soft but strong. I'm gonna inhale your arms out to the side here. So from here, I want you to lift up out of your rib cage. So think about the bottom of your rib cage, wherever that lands on you. Mine is, um, about right here, and you can check that on yourself if you like. And then I want you to lift up out of your rib cage. So you're gonna have almost like a lift out of the pelvic floor, a lift out of the bottom of your core, a lift up out of that rib cage, okay? And then we're gonna shift our torso, our core, over to the right side. So it's just a shift. We're not crunching down, we're not doing anything like that, just a shift to the right. Got it? You with me? So keeping the lift, and there's a shift. A lift and a shift. <laughs> and so from here, with the lift and the shift, pause. Notice the engagement. You might be like, my shoulders are killing me, Kate. Well, you can put your arms down if you like. It's your practice, not mine. Come on. Okay, so the lift and the shift. Then I'm going to flip my hands out to the front of my space. And then I'm gonna to try to draw that right hand down, keeping that lift and that shift. And here's where your block is gonna come in. I'm gonna place my hand on my block. I'm gonna keep my left arm long in the air. So noticing here, 
Are you crunched up on that right side? Does it feel good? If the answer is no, let's come back up. So try that lift and that shift once again, and then just go slow as you come into that triangle, okay? Let's notice our hips now. You can come up if you want. You can hold it if you wish. I'm just going to go tweak it as I go here. So you want to keep your hips facing towards the front of your space, towards your um, computer or whatever you're watching this on. So noticing when you do that lift and that shift that the hip, that left hip doesn't begin to turn like into a warrior two type stance. We don't want that for this. I'm not usually like a super alignment stickler, mostly because I live in a non-traditional yoga body. Uh, I just call it a fat body, but you know, for the purposes of what I'm talking about, I'll say that. Um, I find that alignment sometimes like it really just doesn't work for my like skeletal makeup. And so um, I don't often push too much alignment talk in my classes or my teaching because I don't know what it's like to live in your body. And I just want to give you invitations to figure out what works for you. So that's why the lift and the shift and making sure the hips are forward. It's a little more general. It's not really specific like, you know, your elbow has to be this way or whatever. Why am I talking so much? I'm sorry. I hope this isn't boring for you. Anyway, keep those hips forward. Okay. I didn't say that before because we were lifting and shifting. But now we're going to add something else. Hips forward. Inhale those arms up lift, shift, and draw that right arm down. So just notice if there's any difference for you in this posture now. Notice if there's a little bit more movement. Notice if that left part of your body wants to turn forward and just tweak it back a little bit. And pause and breathe. And find that place of balance between effort and ease. It's a happy place, generally. Because if you're not happy, you're probably not in it. I mean, you don't have to be happy in yoga, but when you find that place of balance between effort and ease, generally there's some, like, spark. If not, no problem. That's just my experience. Lift up. Come out. Turn those right toes towards the front of the room. Grab that block or book or furniture. Move it over to the left. Turn those left to toes towards the left part of your room. Building heat here. <laughs> okay, so again, left knee not locked, right knee not locked. We're all good. We're moving and grooving. Bending into that left knee for a moment just to come back up. Great. Okay, up strong, up tall, hips towards the front of your space. You can inhale your arms up, find that lift, find that shift. So hips forward, lift and shift. Hips forward, lift and shift. Hips forward, lift and shift. Got it? Okay. Lift, shift. Hips forward, lift and shift. Then I'm going to draw my left arm down. I'm going to move my block over. Right arm is in the air, making a little tent with my hand. And found my triangle. Beautiful. Breathe. Pause. Allow. Smile if you wish. And then inhale back up. Turn those left toes forward. Let your arms come down. You can bring your feet back together. Find that mountain once again. Breathe. Allow. Be present. All the stuff going on in your life is there. It will be there when you get back. Promise. Okay. Uh, that was Slow Mo Monday for this week. Uh, it was kind of goofy, kind of silly, hopefully a little helpful. Hopefully the lift shift forward was um, something that helps you in your Trikonasana triangle pose. And we'll see you next week. Bye, friends.